This is Alex from NC Nature News. We're having an international herpers call with some special VIP, very important people, members of the international groupers Skype chat. We have Lakes <laughs> Reptiles, we have Ann 101 Red, and Jothan Van Kamen as our special members of the Skype call that are very important to this chat. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it. We're talking about a woman in Arizona who stabbed an endangered gila monster to death with a screwdriver because she was worried that it was going to endanger her puppy and her toddler or something. Uh, But then she posted on Facebook along with images of the screwdriver in the animal and people attacked her as the internet usually does. And now she's going to be in court. This It's still April right now, but she'll be in court next month. the max fines are six months in prison and a couple thousand dollars because it is an endangered animal and it's illegal to touch them or interact with them in any way. Uh, Especially kill them. Yeah, that's a little over the top. Way to screw drive her. And then she said, uh, I didn't know it was illegal to kill them. If I knew I wouldn't have posted anything or done anything, I wish I hadn't done any of it. I feel bad. I apologize profusely to people. I feel bad for offending them and everything. So something that bugs me when she said that is she doesn't actually care about the animal still. She just cared whether it was legal or not. And I agree that if it was legal, she would have done it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But yes. Oh, so the max fine is seven hundred fifty dollars. I just checked. And okay. I don't know. That doesn't seem very steep to me, but I don't know what you think about it. I I think that uh, I don't really agree with the six months in prison because i don't think spending a lot of time there would help her uh uh i don't know change her views on that but i think the fine is the uh the best option to go with because all the you know time and uh, money people put into conservation of these animals shouldn't just you know go away just because some lady stabbed an animal with a screwdriver that's actually pretty good i agree with that a lot yeah same a little bit more about Gila monsters, which I have. They're one of the two Gila. venomous lizards. Gila. Gila. Sorry. I don't know how to pronounce anything today. Um, and because they're venomous, she, I guess she thought that it could endanger her kids when they always avoid people. Uh, they always avoid other animals unless it's their prey. And their venom is equivalent to about that of a, a diamondback rattlesnake, but they don't actually secrete very much venom when they bite, so you're not going to die from it. It's not fatal. But uh she mm-hmm. didn't I guess she didn't know that. Um Yeah. So and uh I mean just going off of the footage I've seen of Gila monsters and beaded lizards and stuff since they're very similar. Um and I, I wouldn't say zoos because you know they're used to people and in captivity, but just going off like footage from out in nature they move pretty slowly, so she could have, you know, gone inside yeah. and shut the door, since I'm pretty sure they can't bust down doors. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's actually a common uh, mistake, they actually can bust down doors. Oh, of course, yes. Oh, yes, yes. But I have one question for the lady, right? If you know the femin- Venomous, why would you take it down with a screwdriver and not with something like um, from, a, from a distance? Yeah, if she's kind of, I mean, if you, yeah, if if she's like skilled enough to be able to, well, not skilled, but able to be able to get close to her and kill with a screwdriver, do you think that her kids are gonna be able to avoid it? I think so. They're That's not true. very hard to avoid because clearly it did nothing really to attack or defend itself. If it's that easy to do, yeah, I agree. And if she was, as well. and if she was scared enough to go kill it with a screwdriver. She, uh, I think the better course of action would have just been to go inside. Yeah, yeah. like people said, she there's lots of reptile removal places basically in every state, and people said that she could easily just call and they can just remove it for her uh, because Definitely. they have licenses to actually take them out uh, of the area. I agree. So yeah, and that there are a better choice. lots of venom, other venomous animals like rattlesnakes and stuff in Arizona. So there definitely are plenty of removal services available. Yeah. She could have just left it alone and definitely should not have attacked it and killed it. Or if it was in my backyard, I probably would have captured it and took it to a place like that or just let it go out in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's yeah, actually, I mean, that'd be illegal, but... Yeah, it says they're illegal to touch in any way, so this is... Just that's... gently caress it into a box without touching it. <laughs> okay, well, what one person said, uh, this guy has permits to keep Gila, mon or Gila monsters, uh, but he said he doesn't keep them as pets, I guess, <coughs> they're for educational purposes. Uh, and he said that they're never a threat to anyone and they're completely harmless. The only way you could ever get bit or harmed by the animal is if you try and pick it up. So basically what she did is the only way she could have possibly been put in danger from it. If she had done anything else, she basically, her and her anim or her kids would have been fine. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Because, you know, you have to go and try to find these animals. It's not like they're out to get you. And also heal monsters, generally. I've seen them when people pick them up and stuff. Um, they usually are pretty docile and tame. They're not very fast moving, like you said, and they can't really reach their heads around to bite you, at, like snapping turtles and other things like that. So they're pretty safe. It's just like a normal lizard, except you want to be a little bit extra careful about not getting bit. That's pretty much all that's to it. Yeah, it's kind of just like any other big lizard. It just happens yeah. to have a little venom, which can't even really do much to you. Yeah, if she uh, if she saw it in her yard, I'd think the best thing to do would just be leave it alone. I mean, of course, depending on where she lived, if she was in the middle of a neighborhood, it would have been better to call because neighborhood probably isn't the very best place yeah. for a Gila monster to live. Alex, you know where it was? Was it in like Tucson? Uh, or let's see. Yeah, it was on Maricopa. Yes, Tucson. It was in Tucson. Yeah. Well, I've been to Tucson. Tucson. Typically, the backyards are pretty open and gated, and they're usually in the desert too, except for like deep into the city. And even then, there's still a lot of desert areas. So yeah. I get the best course of action probably should have been to leave it alone. That sounds that like does it would depend, good. depend on her backyard. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Mhm. Mm yes. She so, definitely should have shared it on. Should not have shared it on a uh, Facebook though. Yeah, oh, yeah that's something else, because even if that's it was just, completely legal, that's pretty messed up. That's just stupid, to be honest. $750 yeah. fine is the max. That's That doesn't seem like very much. Yeah, it really Should doesn't, be... considering that these animals are endangered, and like Lake said, that a lot of con conservation efforts go into protecting these and keeping them safe and alive. Yeah. So... And to have that all just go down the drain because some uneducated yeah. in the you know way of how heal monsters are stab someone with a screw stabs a heal monster with a screwdriver that's just kind of messed up and wrong yeah also it looks like its tail is a little skinny so it probably was venturing outside of its normal range to look for food because it might have been having a tough time um, based on the picture here it looks a little skinny i think mm -hmm. it's uh Reticulated heal monster thing is what it's called. There's two different morphs, I think. Uh, it's still hard to believe though if she actually knew if it was legal or not. I guess she wouldn't have posted it, but she knew, like she said in her description, that it is a heal monster. And if you live in the area, it seems I like mean, that's even something if everyone would it, know about. Even if for some reason it was completely legal to it's do that, still messed it's, up. Still, it's still cruel and definitely not called for. Yeah, clear. Yeah. That's kind of why I don't. It's still. It's still wild. It's still a wild animal. It was still in its natural habitat that she probably came and built her house on or near to. So mm -hmm. she definitely shouldn't have killed it or harmed it in any way. It'd be better just to leave it alone. Honestly, that'd be like the best thing to do because that's where it's probably been living for a couple of years at least. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let me. Okay, there's a comment. Let me get this straight. This animal was threatening enough that she had to kill it. But she got close enough to kill it with the screwdriver. I think we already discussed that a little bit. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that was my point. Basically, no, none of it makes any sense, really. Yeah, that's right. It really doesn't. Of course, you have any comments? Eaten it. If you kill it, you what? should eat it. That's what we were taught. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are they from, Missouri? I wouldn't. She could be one of those women who uh, posts everything. Just a whole life. <laughs> She's a feminist. Look at this male healing monster <laughs> trying to sneak up on me. I got his ass. Hashtag <laughs> women's rights. Oh, here's one person that like supports the lady. A bunch of big mouth snitches. If she thought it was a threat, then she had a right to kill it on her property. And for those useless humans that need to send death threats to a young woman who just had a baby, 
who just had a baby over a reptile. You should be shamed. Just plain, pl just plan stupidity. If she just had a baby, then I'm guessing that there's a zero chance that that baby's gonna be unsupervised outside in her backyard. Hanging out with the healer. With the... Or even outside at all. The heal monster would've been gone the next day, most likely. Probably within the Especially... next like, 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. She should have the dead healer monster super glued to her forehead and be monitored to make sure she leaves it there until it decomp <laughs> <laughs> decomposes and falls off. This is horrible. It, it wouldn't decompose, though, because there's not anything, hopefully, in her forehead to be able to decompose it. There probably is. A lot of people think she should be stabbed with a screwdriver as her punishment. That's a little severe. It, it, it still is just an animal, but I guess humans are too. But Tape a screwdriver in a halo monster's hand. Let it chase her around. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way halo monsters bite is they bite like onto your arm and then they chew. So they chew in their venom. So their, their venom is mainly for defense. Mm -hmm. versus other animals that have it that's for predation and getting prey because heal monsters typically eat like eggs rodents like that kind of stuff so i'm pretty sure their venom is mainly for defense okay well, guys so this is this is alex from nth news hope you enjoyed this video um come back next week for maybe another chat because dude dude, dude hold on not hold organize on. it all Hold on, hold on. Next week. No, that might not work. Shh. Come back next week for maybe another episode because we're not organized at all. Maybe. And like Reptiles has stuff to do that's because he doesn't regard us as important to him because I don't know why he's just being a bully. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video about Gila monsters and don't kill them with screwdrivers. Goodbye.